hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it's been over like two months now since i did an upload yeah so um i'm back and i wasn't well for a while so i had to take a break but i'm back now and for today is i'm going to do my nails my nail just broke off but i'm going to do my nails so i decided to film a get ready with me so yeah here it goes so for moisturizer i mixed my avino um pomade with my glycerin and rose water so that's what i use as a moisturizer today and for primer i'm going to use my maybelline new baby skin instant instant pore eraser that's what i'm going to use as my primer today but i kept on believing me because i always want to try and see and for foundation, I'm using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Amber. And I'm using, I'll be mixing it with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade 330. And I'm blending everything using my Colorbox Buffing Brush. For concealing my under eyes, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 40. I'm going in with my Bethlehem Beauty Blender to blend out my under eye concealer. I'm going in with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Medium Dark and I'm going to use that to set under my eyes. And I'm setting the rest of my face using the same powder. I'm baking my under eye using my Clean Color HD powder in the shade Translucent. So for eyes, I'm going in with my Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette and I'm going to do something simple because I'm just going to do my nails. And I'm using, I'm starting off with the Crease Definer Brush from Evita Joseph. I'm going in with this shade right here and I'm going into my crease with it. I'm bringing this into the lower lid area as well. Baby, you got me calling. Don't need no Photoshop. Your waistline just got Next me thing I'm going to do is go in with my lid color, and I'm using this shade right here. And I'm using the large classic shader brush. Do it, do it for me. Baby, you got me calling. Don't need no Photoshop. Your waistline just got me calling. I'm going in with this shade right here just to blend the shimmer shade out a little bit. It's too bright and there's not like a huge outing that I'm going for. So I'm just going in with that. Yeah. I like so for line, I'm going in with my Blossom Black Eye Studio Eyeliner Gel. It's long wear, and I'm using my Colorbox Duo End Brush to apply the eyeliner. So I'm dusting off the the under eye powder left there because I don't want it to leave a white cast. Now the next thing to do is to go in with my bronzer and I'm using the Master Bronze by Maybelline. I'm going in with this shade right here. I um, might mix this too, but I'm going in with this shade right here. For blush, I'm going in with this shade right here. That's going to be my blush. And I'm going on top of the where I apply the bronzer. I just want to rub with you. I don't know you but you know say the body no be So I'm going to set my face with the looks hydrating rose water. Wine for the boy, wine for the boy. Wine for the boy. 
And also the NYX matte finish finishing spray. So there's this new technique that I've been using and that's I raise my head up and then I spray the finishing spray on my face so that in that case everything falls down onto my face you get it not like this way that it might spritz down so it's been working for me quite well okay guys so this is the finished look I hope you enjoyed every bit of it I got my hair done over the weekend I have got in four locks and if I'll put the ladies you know the one who did my hair for me I'll put her number down in the description box below so you guys can go you know get your hair done and I'm planning on keeping this hair in for like a year so wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this simple look and let me know what you think in the comment section below don't forget to like subscribe and share and as always live love and be happy so i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys